Today we have no time to waste, so we are gonna jump right to it. All right, you guys, today I'm gonna show you our secret weapon for rust removal. The wet sandblaster. The first task was carrying a bunch of 50 pound bags of coal slag up into the house, which was much harder than it looked. So while the guys are bringing the bags up to the house, I'm gonna set up this wet sandblaster kit. I linked this wet sandblasting kit in the description and this is everything that comes with it. First, I need to install the zero degree nozzle on the head of the attachment. So this is where the zero degree nozzle screws in, so I am just going to install it and put everything back together. Then I put everything back into place and tightened it all back together. After that, I take one of the hose clamps, place it on the hose, and then shove the hose onto the siphon and tighten the hose clamp. It's a little bit easier said than done because it is a tight fit. So it took some time to work it in there. Next up, I do the same thing, but with the other side of the hose. So now that that's all set up, we are pretty much ready to move forward. To use this sandblasting attachment, the pressure washer has to be at least 3,000 psi, and here we are using our 4,400 psi pressure washer from Harbor Freight. Then we stuck the sand siphon into our sandblasting media, which is coal slag. Very important to cover the sandblasting media because if it's wet, it won't siphon at all. Then we attach the head of the siphon to the pressure washer gun and blast it away. The process is pretty messy, but the wet sandblaster is the best thing we've found for dealing with deep rust. It's been a game changer for us, and if you've been following our journey for a while, you've seen us refurbish so many things with it. The steel for the entrance structure, our shipping containers, the I-beams for the entrance, etc. I wouldn't use this tool for light rust or flash rust because you can easily use a wire brush or sanding disc, but this tool is exceptional at removing deep, intense rust quickly and easily. I'll be sure to link all of these products in the description, so Head down to the description if you are interested in this setup. Special shout out to Flo, who is our best sandblasting assistant. Go ahead and leave a comment if you have any questions about this setup or how it works or anything like that. I'll be happy to try to answer your questions.
Hey you guys! Hey you guys! For those of you that are familiar with the Goonies, you will <laughs> you will know what I'm talking about. All right, so another day out on the ranch. The guys yesterday went and sandblasted the two panels, um, well, the two openings. Well, they're not open anymore, but <laughs> you know what I mean. Uh, the two areas just there. And we didn't have time to paint because it was too late and everything. So we are gonna paint today. So basically what we're gonna do is go up there with the brush and the orbiting sander and smooth everything over, uh, remove any of the flash rust if there's any, and then paint. So teamwork makes a dream work. Let's go. Hey Jess, I love to be organized. I, I, I love that we're always like enroll like the core of the world. <laughs> That's like one of our biggest pet peeves. And yet we cannot escape it. Uh, 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 uh. Alright, time to party. But first, a word from our sponsor. Today we are going to use this Vitamin Jump 1800 to create our own outdoor coffee shop. The Vitamin Jump 1800 comes with this handy little carrying case with several power cords and a manual, which is great for keeping things organized. The Vitamin Jump 1800 is designed for outdoor camping, van life, emergency power situations, and you can even use it to jump your car. With 1800 watts and 1548 watt hours, this large capacity power station has a wide variety of uses. With 12 output ports, you can power several items at once. This power station also features an LED light on the back with a few different brightness options. With VBeyond technology, the Vitamin Jump 1800 is able to power several large appliances. And it even supports appliances up to 3,600 watts. All right, you guys, today we are setting up our wilderness coffee shop with the Vitamin. It's been an iced coffee kind of summer, so we thought we'd take some time to create our own outdoor coffee shop to work in. Complete with an iced coffee. Speaker for some good vibes and our electronic equipment. All powered by the Vitamin Jump 1800. The durable batteries feature 3,100 life cycles to 80% of the original battery capacity. With the expandable battery addition, the capacity is extended to 3,096 watt hours, which means you can power more items longer. As you can see, the Vitamin Jump 1800 is great for charging and powering several items at once and was the perfect portable power station to create our outdoor coffee shop. This durable and versatile power station is great to have in your vehicle, especially since it can jump a 12 volt car. Bring it with on your next picnic, road trip, or camping trip to power all your items wherever you go. It's rechargeable by solar, standard outlet, and with the car charger. Be sure to click the exclusive link in the description to pick up a Vitamin power station. Special thank you to Vitamin for sponsoring this video. Okay, back to work. So we just used the orbital sander to go over the areas that we sandblasted to smooth out the edges. So that's pretty much what we're doing. We used 120 grit for these areas and it worked really, really well. Whew. Okay, long day today. So, if you can see, Vyant's up there painting. We finished cleaning the uh, steel and kind of 
making it look nice and everything like that, removing any of the flash rust that accumulated overnight. And uh, yeah, so we just worked as a team to get that done. So it wasn't too bad actually. So we're gonna be painting, I think, these two openings right here. Uh, just with the primer and then after when everything's painted we will go back with the top coat the black paint which is what's on the, most of the house so Vyance up there painting away and uh yeah Right now we are removing all of this stuff, all the coal slag that's blown over there onto our painting area. So we are just by taking the air gun and blowing it off so that this stuff isn't where we have to paint. And after a long day, we got the top level of the entrance structure painted. Success. A lesson I've learned continually throughout our experience of building our container house is to enjoy the journey. It's extremely important to take time to enjoy life and give ourselves a little break every now and then. Sometimes our project can be very overwhelming and occasionally we like to take a break and enjoy the fruits of our labor. I really cherish the times we get to share the ranch with our friends and family. So we decided to reward all of our hard work and have a nice little bonfire for the evening.
There is something therapeutic about sitting around the fire, feeling the warmth and connecting with the people around us. It's times like this where I am extremely grateful for this opportunity to build this life. Thank you so much. I make jump brie. I think it's almost ready. So right here we are making some baked brie over the fire. Super delish. So we worked together to chop some wood and busted out some food and drinks to enjoy the fire and live in the moment. The house will take the time that it takes and sometimes it's good to just enjoy where you're at. So cheers to health, happiness, and chasing our dreams. Here's what's coming up next on Pacific Pines Ranch. That's where we're going to be welding up there. Yeah. Oh my god, you guys, look at all this pollen. Without making it fall. Alright, cool. On to the next one. Help support our channel by leaving a comment, liking, and sharing this video. As always, you guys, thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to subscribe to keep up with our projects and adventures on Pacific Pines Ranch. We put out new videos every Saturday and sometimes even during the week. So be sure to subscribe and hit the notification button so you don't miss any. Okay, bye.